This episode is sponsored by CuriosityStream and Nebula. Get both for just 15 bucks a year. As of 2014, there were something like 1,800 giant pandas left on this earth, to which every Redditor, in all of their supreme intellect and originality, will jump in and remind us that actually, even pandas themselves aren't trying very hard to continue their species. So why should we, at the cost of millions and millions of dollars? Couldn't that money be used for a better purpose? Like ending world hunger? Or buying GameStop? Pandas are just lazy and dumb, they quip. Now, while I agree with the first point, more on that momentarily, I take issue with the second, something I emphasize not just for the purpose of distinguishing my superior analysis with the feeble-minded common Reddit folk. Pandas aren't dumb. And that's the problem. You've got it all wrong, Reddit. You poor confused puppets sit there clicking and clacking on your keyboard, supposedly spreading the word about lazy stoner pandas, when really you're just doing them a favor. Pandas, it turns out, are one big giant scam. This is the Arctic Turn. Your everyday, run-of-the-mill, garden-variety arctic tern will migrate as many as 50,000 miles from Greenland to Antarctica no less than twice a year. Each of these journeys will take at least 90 days, meaning they're almost always on the move, flapping those poor wings non-stop, like an airline determined to suck every dime from its investment. In a single lifetime, one bird will travel 1.5 million miles. Now this is a giant panda. Every six months, it will get out of bed. It's so lazy that it will literally relieve itself while sleeping. In its entire lifetime, it will say please and thank you exactly zero times, even in Chinese. From the day of its birth to the day of its death, every panda is waited on by a team of sycophantic, high-paid advanced degree holders wanting nothing more than for King Panda to bless them with a single royal baby. Now let me ask you, which of these animals is smarter? The one which painstakingly moves houses between two identical hunks of ice which couldn't be further apart, or the one which sits back, orders room service, and lives life rent-free? Lazy? Sure. But dumb? No way. Get back to me when you've turned the entire human species into your personal team of butlers. Okay, but how can they be so smart if they can't even figure out how to mate? You still don't get it, do you? By virtue of being rare, we treat them like gods. Who always gets the best real estate at the zoo? Who is fed constantly? Who's showered with toys and attention? All day long. Speaking of which, let's break down the typical panda day. First, they eat for a full eight hours. That's not a joke. Then they sleep for four hours. Then they wake up and immediately eat for eight more. Finally, you guessed it, they sleep for four more hours. Oh, and all that bamboo they eat? It's like 99% of their diet, and it's basically candy to them. These ungrateful freeriders are not, let's be clear, vegetarians. Just take a look at their less than cute pair of canines. They have the natural born equipment to hunt for meat. They just choose to avoid anything but Snickers served on gold platters. They think they can just coast through life on their cuteness alone. Sadly, they're right. When you live a life like that, well, why mess things up? Having lots of babies would only make them less special. By keeping this elaborate scam going, pandas have made their love lives worthy of a 10-season reality TV show. The birth of a single cub is guaranteed to make national headlines. And by keeping such a low profile, you rarely have the opportunity to find out just how unremarkable they truly are. Frankly, pandas are cuter in theory. When you see a cute one, it's most likely a photoshopped image, illustration on a sticker, or on the Discovery Channel. In real life, they're dirty, smelly, and just kinda there. The real tragedy is the way pandas dominate our discourse. Panda apologetics say they're cute and innocent. Critics call them lazy, which just lets them off easy. In describing their slow metabolizing biology, we only strip them of their agency. Let's dispel with this fiction that pandas don't know what they're doing. Pandas know exactly what they're doing. They're not the lazy stoners of the animal kingdom. That's what they want you to think. Pandas are the rich kids of the animal kingdom, managing to adapt all too well to the 21st century. 
When you visit the zoo, you knowingly fork over your hard-earned dollars to watch an entitled brat roll around in its feces. Stoners pay taxes, but pandas just take and take from the system, and they have no shame about it. Don't fall for it. You're welcome. This video has been about giant pandas, but I fully endorse their cousin, the red panda, who are actually cute, pretty down to earth, and not at all entitled. You can watch this entire documentary about them on CuriosityStream, along with thousands of other science, history, and technology topics. For just $15 a year, you also get access to Nebula, where you can watch these videos one week early, without any ads, and watch other exclusive and bonus content from your favorite channels. Sign up with the link in the description, and you'll get an email with access to Nebula.